Ooh. Delta, E-104 Epsilon, rescue mission accomplished. E-105 Zeta, E-101 Beta, location unknown. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. Which I escaped from earlier. If I hadn't, maybe I could have sorted it then, and not have to waste time. By the way, right now, uh, we can't see him, but Nucky, uh, Nucky Boy, the old Nucker, he's uh, spying on us. So let's quit wasting time, and get over the fucking Oh god, no change again. Just stop, just stop being a pain in the in the rear end. Gamma! Gamma! What the fuck are you doing? Gamma. The train headed for a station square. Sometimes I wonder why I love this game. Uh just need to double check. Go to the egg carrier crash site. Yeah, crash site. Find so something. it's actually crashed now. But Knuckles gets the egg carrier by going to uh, Eggman's base in the E series data. Beginning search. Ah, this is a piece of music that only plays this once in this cutscene. Accessing data. Hot shelter. E series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. Yay, hot shelter. Boy, oh boy. In the words of the Rolling Stones, gimme bracket hot bracket shelter. Is it the Rolling Stones? Now I'm gonna feel really stupid if it wasn't. Pretty sure it is. I feel stupid anyway. I feel stupid most of the time. That's just how I roll. Is the other like uh, room open now? The the super duper weapon uh, makes you thin, really healthy, changes your life. Is this thing available now, or is it still covered in water? It's uh, no, it's the wrong room. I was about to jump for joy down in the very center of my heart, but. Alas, I was wrong. Maybe I still have reason to be joyous, but I doubt it. Because that's how things go. Is it? It's clear now we can get it. This. I'm not going to say you can miss, because, like I pointed Here's out, you can come blaster. here at any time. It's blast damages but enemies you can, in a wide pattern. You can not know about it. Or rather, you can be unaware of it, and it doesn't truly affect your ability to complete in 102 story. There's a lot of upgrades that are like this, as I think someone your points out. Your friends are in the hot shelter. Yes, Hurry I up know. And Shut them. up. I'm telling you what to do. You know my parents stop nagging me. So hot shelter. If I remember correctly, this level goes on for a really long time, and if you're not killing enemies properly, you can run out of time. If you're not earning enough extra time. Um, so you want to be quick. I know I'm supposed to push the switch, but I am going to defy the Sega gods here. I probably wasted more time by doing that. But I just wanted to show that I am not going to take orders you bark at me, Sega. 
until you promise me that I'm gonna get a brand new, like, Sonic game that doesn't have them covered in bandages and looking really stupid. What is this whole thing with animated series at the moment? It's like Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. It's like some crappy little animated series no one gives two flying monkeys about. But apparently now Pac-Man's a thing and he's relevant again, although he's never been relevant since the 80s, but he was kind of relevant. It was before I was even born. Yeah, Namco just released that Pac-Man... Uh, Super Duper Collection, all the Pac-Man games in one place, but it's like missing like 30 Pac-Man games. And I mean, I really, like, part of me knows if you buy that, you're just uh, telling Namco that you're a ridiculous shill who will pay for anything, who will buy anything that's got Pac-Man on it, because it's got Pac-Man on it. But actually, it's got a version of Pac-Man Arrangement on there, which is, like, my favourite Pac-Man game ever made. It's so good, the cows want it back, it's that good. So it's like, do I buy it for Pac-Man Arrangement? It's like, I don't know, it's, it's like £15? Like... That's money I could. That's money I would have spent on energy drinks back in the day, but I try not to drink those anymore because they are bad for you. I would say I don't know what I'm talking about about running out of time, but look, we're still only at like two minutes. Time spare, and we've got to fight a boss. Um, once we get to the end of the level as well. It is tr Especially when that happens, it is tricky. I mean, I... Well, it must have been about... When I was playing this game in about 2006 or 7, and uh, I was experiencing then, you know, at, at a higher level of gamer maturity, uh, arguably, than what I was when I was, when I was a kid. Um, I still had immense trouble with the timing in this level, like, of having enough time when getting the boss. You see, this level now, in terms of length, is so much longer than, like, all the other E102 levels combined. You want to get all the monkeys here, all the coconuts, otherwise you are going to run out of time. It's just the way it goes. As per usual, he's not locking on to where I want him to lock on to. Because he's Eggman. Eggman's April Tricks. Okay, here's the boss battle. And look, he's made of dream casts. Do you see he's got dream casts in his body? See? Okay. This genuinely gave me trouble as a kid. Like, avoiding the rockets, shooting down the rockets, and E106 is it, but uh, now it's not a challenge. It's over before it even begins. E105, yeah, not that many E100 series robots now, I think, but E101, E102, E103, E104, E105, yeah. E105 Zeta, rescue complete. E105 Zeta, is it? Zeta. Potato. Okay. So now we just gotta find the 101 data. And he is gonna come for us on the bridge of the ship. We're gonna defeat him get the flicky bird from outside and then that's gonna match up with where Amy's story ends 
you know, just before the birds get beaten up by zero. Rescue complete. Yeah. Units remaining. That means we're almost at the end of e 102 story. This is... Yeah, I, f I keep forgetting that the characters... You know, this game actually is... Fair Here's his existential crisis. Uh, the characters' Gamma. stories themselves are fairly short. Especially, like, the supporting characters. A character that has far too many levels... That's big of a cat. And I could be on those levels for hours. So that is why I plan to stream. Because that would be more fun, I think, to watch. That's like a stream and then to cut highlights. I might end up beating Big Story really quickly, in which case I might as well just go on to do the Supersonic Story, which is the secret story I've just spoiled for everyone who doesn't know. So you can't shoot... Mark 1 at the moment then. Uh, sorry, E101 Mark 2. Until he, like, does a, uh, a move to, like, come at you. Because he'll just block. And then you want to shoot. Yeah, his missiles. And that's basically it. He was really tricky as a kid, but I think I already know, like, just how to tackle this battle now. Like, it's ingrained into muscle memory. So it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, we're almost done. This remix is fantastic as well. Only plays in this boss battle. And I tell you, it's a wonderful piece of music. Okay. Gonna fire several energy balls. He's just gonna charge up the last one. Okay, last one. See, that's quite a few energy balls. Just want to get out of the explosion and then you're good. I missed my chance to shoot him, which means he's now going to do all these energy balls again. If you shoot him in enough time, you don't have to bother with this nonsense. This time I'm going to make sure I get his missiles. Missiles! I've been looking for an excuse to say that after Ape Escape 3, because that boss battle just went, Missiles! 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 I've been looking for an excuse to say that. So yeah, that's E102 story Mission over. Complete. That's it. And what, we're not, e yeah, we're not even at an hour. That's how short these stories are. We're not even at an hour. And it's done. Damn. So I'm going to look through, while this cutscene is playing, I'm going to look through some of the games I'm considering doing features on. You know, uh, an effective... Uh... Mm. That thing men aren't good at. Multitasking. An, an effective multitasking method. Let's have a look. Hmm... Mm. There it is again. I mean, I want to do features on a lot of the Sonic games, but I'm worried about Sonic saturation. I mean, after Sonic Adventure, to move on to another Sonic game, it would be Sonic saturation, wouldn't it? It would be too much Sonic. I mean, there is no such thing as too much Sonic, but it would be too much Sonic. So, yeah, E102, he's actually, uh, he's actually got a birdie inside him. A birdie who's friends with uh, fa the family of the other two birdies, and the birdies live in, in Birdie Harmony. Which is why you don't see one of two in the ending sequence of the game. So I've got, like, two Wii games besides, like, Secret Rings and 
and Black Knight and Colors that like are really jumping out to me at the moment. And the first one is this game called Job Island, which is like, which got so there were so many copies of it made, and I don't think anybody really bought it. It's really fun, and the story is really ridiculous. So I look forward to doing a feature, probably a let's play on that because I haven't really seen that many videos done on it. And then there's uh, a certain single-player Ubisoft game that very few people, I think, have played either, and it's what I consider one of the one of the strongest titles on the Wii. I actually consider it a very strong title, and that's a game called Rabbids Go Home. Now, Rabbids Go Home is a single-player game in the Rayman Rabbids universe. Now, the Rayman Rabbids universe is mostly multiplayer, so it's very interesting to see Ubisoft uh, Montreal do a game that isn't multiplayer, and it plays really well. The Sonic games I have here right now in my possession, I mean, if I wanted... If I wanted to go straight into another Sonic game, I could. I could go straight into any number of them. Just at a glance, I've got Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 sitting on my shelf, and in my hands right now is the Xbox 360 version of Sonic Generations, because I know it will record properly without crapping my computer bits, and uh, both Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight. The latter two, uh, Secret Rings and Black Knight, I will have to play through once over. Those are the Dreamcast character models. I will have to play once over just to familiarize myself with them because the truth is I have never beaten Secret Rings or Black Knight and if you've played either of them you can probably understand why. I mean Black Knight is a much better game in terms of just structure alone. The fact you have more sort of... it's still on rails but there's more freedom. You can actually control whether you're moving or not for starters and you don't have to play it with the Wiimote and stupid sideways so it's more fun and it's a better game but I still didn't work my way through it that's not a Dreamcast screenshot, that's GameCube um, and then there's actually, because recently I bought myself a PSP a pre-owned PSP because I used to have one back in the day and I loved my PSP to bits. I had a PSP on launch day here in Europe when they came out. I bought one on day one and that evening I had it hacked and I was playing SNES games on it. Love it. Then I got a slim one when the slim ones came out and I hacked that and that was bloody awesome for homebrew because everything ran faster because of the more RAM in the machine. And then my PS Slim broke. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm not. I'm not going to bother getting another PSP. I'll just sell my PSP games. Turns out, I sold maybe one or two PSP games. Kept the rest of them in storage. Forgot about them. Then I was thinking, I have a capture device. I have a PSP. Why don't I do some videos on PSP games? You know. One of the biggest draws to my channel originally, like in people who watched my content, they were videos of me and my Katamari, the PSP Katamari game. And they were commentary less, they were just ordinary playthroughs, but there were people watching them. So, I'm thinking about going back to that. Like actually starting that game over from afresh with commentary. I think it's a good idea, I think it might work. And just out the corner of my eyes, I've also got plenty of other amazing PSP games to talk about. Metal Gear Acid, Castlevania Dracula X, uh, Luminous, uh, Tekken, Dark Resurrection, and what's that? Mm, maybe not Virtua Tennis, maybe not Virtua Tennis. <laughs> but I have a load of PSP games to talk about. And then there's like... Since, since I've started running a Dreamcast emulator on my PC and it started working properly, there are some potential short videos on Dreamcast games to do because I still don't really have an ideal method for for recording Saturn and Dreamcast. I can record from an emulator if the game's going to work okay and it's going to record fine. So, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of stuff I could be doing. It's a question of what I feel like doing. 
because I'm not really sure what I feel like doing.